So we've been all day in there. We go out there. Um, we're having a beer break. We had to piss real bad. I was trying to rush stuff. And the last video, you'd have seen it, that, that, that last layup there. It was going brown, and I had about, I want to say, a half a liter, which would have been enough to flood coat or to, to wet the uh, the back side of the um, the mat side of the, of the fiberglass. Uh, so I started doing that, and as I was doing it, I started to see it gel up, and we seen a couple of flicks come off. If you see that stuff going to gel, it looks like jello. It'll actually look like you're rolling jello to be chunks hanging off of it and stuff. You, you just gotta, you gotta abort. You, there's nothing you can do. You gotta take the um, roller, kick the roller off, get that that layup, which sucks because we lost, I think, it's one foot by three foot on that one. Uh, you, you don't even mess around with it. Just get rid of it. It'll take you 10 days to grind that crap out of there. It's so much cheaper in labor to just throw it out. Even if that was a $50 piece, I'd have thrown it out. It's probably all said and done with the resin and the cloth. It's probably a $15 piece. doesn't matter. My time is worth more than 15 bucks. So to pull that piece off, you can see I'm a little bit disheveled. I've been in there all day. Um, but the most important thing is, is don't waste your time trying to chase stuff. Just just lose it. Just get rid of it. Just, just throw it out. If you're going to try and chase it and try, try and chase air to that as it's kicking, you could do up another batch, put it on top, and that's the, because that one's hot and kicking, it'll activate the next one, the one that you're trying to put it on top, and then you just run into a world of hurt and you end up with a whole bunch of... It, it kind of looks like... Um, it looks like half done jello shooters, I guess, with chunks and liquid and chunks and liquid. And that stuff will create so many air bubbles you'll be back to grinding. When you get to this point when you're doing laps, you just wanna you just wanna run with it. Just run, run, run. If you have any sign of air, get rid of it. If it's kicking off, get rid of it. Anything like that, get rid of it. Slice it. Do whatever you have to. The work that's involved in trying to clean up an air bubble at the end of the day is 10 times worse than tearing what you just did out because it's still wet. You can manage it. Uh, prep is key and knowing when to quit is key too. So we're just having a beer here now. we got to wait for everything to kick off. Totally solid. And then uh, we'll carry on. We're going to have to cut. In. I think we had one extra for that layup, so we'll do that. We'll get all the way up there. Uh, I think my baked potatoes are done. And um, we'll kick them to the side and probably just get, I think we got two pieces, three pieces left to go. So we'll do those in one liter batches, calm and collective. Uh, if you push it, you end up losing every time. And don't push it because you'll end up with air. And if you end up with air, then you're just grinding it out anyway. You're wasting everything. So there you go. Here's your... Uh, foul up of the day so to speak it is fuck up, or it is foul mouth friday so what do we got for a joke mm. oh, those are all racist gotta be careful on the internet now ah, i can't even be bothered i'll talk to you guys in a bit